So if you ever had your firearm on, you say, Richard's gun, your fingerprints are going to come back on there. No, they're not, because I never touched it. You never touched it? Nope. Okay. We're, we're also, also going to do a gunshot residue test, okay, on your hands, okay? And I don't care if you shot, this thing is so sensitive, I don't care if you shot a gun a week ago at the range, and if you did, let us know so we can explain why there would be gunshot well, residue I'm sitting hands. two feet away from Richard when he's firing that round. You're going to have... You're going to have that gunshot residue on your hands, you think? I don't think so. I'm sitting two to three feet away from him. Is Maybe he on your, on your left hand side? He's on, he's on the other side of the table that way. Okay. And he was shooting under the chair. So you're like two to three feet away from him? Okay. Also, the blowback, you know, with the blowback of a firearm. This is all shit that, you know, this is how we do investigations, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and the truth's going to come out. It just depends. I'm telling you the truth, no, man. I, I know, but it, it depends on, it I'm just. fucking it just, freaking out, man. Uh, it sounds like you're trying to pin this shit on me. No, check this out. We're not, we're not trying to pin anything on you, okay? Um, like I said. I didn't do nothing. Woody, bro, like I said, man, we're, I'm trying to decide here what's going to be charged. Okay. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got killed. Okay. What is what should the charge be? An accident. Discharging a firearm accidentally? Yeah, whatever. Oh, that could be it too. If that's the explanation. But when you're telling me that you didn't have that firearm in your hand, we can prove otherwise. We can prove otherwise. I can prove it. I can go in front of the judge and say, "Hey, look, bro. We want to fucking. You want us to play this video? You want us to show you the fingerprint results? You want us to show you the GRE test on on this gentleman?" I did not have that firearm in my hand. Huh? Is there any reason why your fingerprints are going to be on there? They're not going to be on there. Did you have to pause to think about that because they might be on there? No, nope, they're not going to be on there whatsoever. I never touched that gun. Any reason why we got an eyewitness to you shooting that gun? They identified you, Woody. They, they had the, the, I did not shoot that gun Woody, listen whatsoever. To me. Listen to me. Okay. All right. Why am I getting set up? This isn't, this isn't being set up, man. We're just trying to understand because the way that it looks, it looks far worse than what it might be. And like Jimmy said, yeah, well, two days ago, Richard told me his whole family's in law enforcement. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking he's protected now. He's I'm protected. trying to get pinned here, you know? Yeah. I didn't shoot nobody. I didn't use that gun. I didn't touch it. Okay. So there's no reason why your fingerprints are going to be on that gun at all. They're not going to be on that gun. I promise you that. Don't promise me something that you can't hold up. I can promise you that. Okay. Definitely. Can you explain to me and my partner why? I have a glass of water. Please. You sure can. Yeah. We'll get you a glass of water. Can you explain to my partner and I why that you were positively identified as the person who shot that gun? It's a misconception. That's a, that's a lie. Uh -uh. I, was in, I did not shoot that gun. Who, who was in the house? Other than you and, and Richard? Uh, Michael, Diane, and Jeff. Okay. And what was uh, Michael wearing? Michael was wearing a white t-shirt. And uh, I believe he had some shorts on. Oh, here it is, Michael. Woody, don't don't waste your time. Don't waste my time, dude. We've done the investigation, bro. I need to find out if you were trying to kill this cop or, you, or it fucking went off accidentally. You might have just been looking at the fucking thing. And when you saw the cops, you said, oh, oh what shit. What the hell are you talking about? I did not try and kill a cop. Okay. Well, that's what you need to tell me. That's what you need to tell me. Don't tell me you didn't have a firearm in your hand. Because I we, did not have we, a firearm we, we in my hand. We can prove that. We can prove that. We're beyond that point, buddy. We're beyond that, man. 
And based based on our investigation and the trajectory and stuff like that, we we sort of believe that it probably I did not have that firearm in my hand at all. It, it, it could have it could have been a fucking accident. It could have been an accidental discharge. Okay, but when you don't, when you're completely denying that, then then I gotta think another way, bro. Because Dude, the, it's the truth. I didn't have that firearm in my hand whatsoever. Well, you're you're you're. You're not, maybe you're not listening to what I'm saying. This person that complained and called initially, document was recording shit, dude. As we get there. Because he knows police are coming. He's the one that fucking called. Come on, man. <laughs> did you try to kill a, co kill a cop or did it go off accidentally when it fucking... Or, or did Richard drop it and you could, I mean, tell me something. Tell me something. Were you looking at it and when you saw the cop, you said, oh, shit. You know, I'm going to get, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the one fucking getting in trouble for the, for shooting this shit in the ground, not no, Richard. I never touched and that you fucking, fucking gun, man. It was in Richard's hand the whole fucking time. He shot the ground. Okay. And then he walked in the house, came back out. Shot the gun two more times. I'm like, uh-uh. No way. I didn't touch that thing whatsoever. Where's the gun at? I'm terrified of guns. Last time I touched a gun was 1979 when I got before I got out of the service. How long did you serve in the Army? Three years. 77 to, well, 77 to 80. Got out in 80. So you're screaming eagle, huh? Yeah. I'm too old for this shit, man. I'm terrified. I don't don't need to be here. But we're too old for this shit too. You know? It's not my fault. I didn't do this. Okay. I didn't do none of this. Okay, so then if you didn't do it, you just break it down. Having for a beer. Right? I was just sitting there having a beer, man. He's popping the cap off. Okay. What was going on at, at, at the time when, when he popped the cap off, so you say? Just laughing. He, was it dark? He, was it sunlight out? No, it was dark. It has been 8 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Okay. Did he say anything when he initially fired the gun? No, he just took it out of the case and BAM! It was in a case? And we were all laughing. It was in a case? Yeah. What kind of case? Black case. What caliber a, is it? A plastic, you know, plastic case. What caliber is it? Caliper? I don't know. It's a big stainless steel. Looks like a forty-five. I can't tell the difference. Forty-five. He says it's nine millimeter. When the uh, when the deputy pulls up, what does Richard say? I don't know. I Did he outside. say shit the cops or what the fuck? I don't know what he said. I was in the living room watching TV. I was on the couch. On the couch. You said you you were outside when he shot, fired two shots. He went out. He went outside. He fired one. You went inside to get a beer. He came back out. He fired two shots into the ground. Come on, man. That yeah, was something like that. Well, no, not something like that. Tell me what it was. It was. Let me tell you something. You're not. You're, you're not. You're not fooling anybody here, bro. Dude. I didn't do this. I'm, I, I'm not, you know why I'm asking you to see how fucking much you're gonna lie to me. If I'm, if, I'm not lying to you. If whatsoever. so, I, like I don't, I'm not gonna sit here for hours, dude, and ask you the same stupid questions. I know most of the shit. Okay, I'm trying to find out intent because the a camera doesn't tell me what intention your your brain There's has. There's no intention. Or, or for Richard. Killing a cop. I, the, yeah, it, Richard didn't want to kill a cop. Or sh he was shooting the ground. He shot into the ground. I watched him do it. Well, you told me a second ago you were inside. 
He popped a cap off once. The first cap he popped off was right under the chair. And then I went inside to get a beer, you know, and then as I was proceeding to walk through the kitchen to the outdoor, all of a sudden two more cats go off. What did he do with the gun? So. What did he do with the gun afterwards? I have no idea. I put it in the case and went and put it in his room. Did you see him take it into his room? No, I did not. Well, I was freaked out, man. I ran into the living room and sat on the couch and... Woody, you don't strike me as the kind of person who gets freaked out easily by the sound of gunfire. No, oh, well, the first shot was really loud and... I know, get that. But you don't strike me as the kind of person who really gets freaked out by the sound of gunfire. Oh, uh, I got pretty freaked out, man. I went in, grabbed another beer and went on the couch. Yeah, but the couch and... You're not freaked out, dude. If you're freaked out, if I'm freaked out, you think this guy was going to shoot you or something? Obviously not. You're in his fucking living room drinking a beer. You can't be that freaked out. If I'm freaked out, you know what I do? I'll fucking run and get the fuck out of there. You're not freaked out. Or when the police come, go and fucking wave the police down. Hey, this fucking well, guy's whacked well, first, out. First round, you know, it was like we were all laughing and shit about it, and it fucking killed my ears. And I got up, went to the fridge, and as I was proceeding to come back out from the fridge, two more rounds went off. I was like, oh, man, this ain't good. Are you willing to cooperate and give us a let us swab your hands and your clothing um, for gunpowder residue? Sure. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you how this test works. I don't care how many times you wash your hands. Okay. It's... If you fired a, a gun, we're going to know. And we're going to know if it was blowback type residue that you got on there or if you were holding a firearm. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what I did. I don't care if the whole time while you were in there that the police were trying to get you guys to come out, you had your fucking hands in Clorox. I didn't put my hands in the I'm floor. just giving you an example, bro. I'm just giving you an example. I mean, we've seen all types of shit, you know. It'll come back. Okay? It'll come if you if you fired a gun today, it'll come back. No, I didn't. I can promise you that. We have that we have uh detectives over there executing a search warrant right now in the house. Where could we find the gun so we don't have to tear the whole house apart? You know, you were fucking in with the guy for hours, dude. Yeah, but I don't go in his bedroom. He yeah. probably keeps in his bedroom somewhere. Yeah, but if, if you know the police in. are out there and all that shit, and obviously there's trouble, you know, fucking SWAT team's out there and the whole fucking, the whole nine. Uh, he's got to keep it in his bedroom. I've never you think seen he's going to keep it right, right in his bedroom where he always holds it? No, that's he yeah. did. Really? Yeah, because he tried to go to sleep after all that shit. He tried to go in his bedroom and crash. What do you mean, try to go to sleep? Yeah. Act like he was sleeping, maybe? Yeah. Right? You know, he went, hid in his room. When, when he came back out, uh -huh. you know, he came back out when somebody noticed the officer at the end of the road and the officer at the other end of the road. Police are eyewitnesses. There are neighbors that are eyewitnesses. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know because you don't want to cooperate, or you don't know because... I don't know because I don't know. I'd be more than glad. I've been cooperating with you guys. I don't have a problem with it. Well, you really haven't been cooperating with us because the police have been outside your house for two hours trying to get you to come out, and nobody would come out. You're, you're, you're I was, I was laying in bed, Sergeant. With Diane, with Diane yelling at you to get up. No, no, no. So everybody in the house is lying again, except for you. They're all liars. At one point, she told me, I can honestly say, yeah, at one point, when I was laying down, she goes, you go out and take care of this. I go, what? The cops are pointing their thing at the house. I go, okay. Pointing what thing at the house? The light in the front window. All right. That's when I went out to have my cigarette, and that's when the guy told me to, you know, come over with my hands up 
and uh, lay down on the street, which I did. I am. I know the truth. But, but you need to think about really trying to convince me. I'm not going to have some son of a bitch cross the road that they're telling you guys that I was the one pulling the trigger on You're not the only, that, that's not the only, that's not the only person, unfortunately. Remember, not. you're the last one that we, speak, that we spoke to at this point. There's more people than just the nosy neighbor that called the police, bro. There's people you live with. There's people responding deputies. All right. You look pretty distinct, dude. I'm truthful. You look pretty distinct. I mean, your hair, you know, your hair and stuff. You, I mean, you're not easily mistaken for the regular guy down the street, dude. You, 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 what you need to do, what, what you need to do, is convince me that this was an accident and you weren't trying to kill a cop. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to think about right now. Okay? That's what you need to convince me of. Because that's going to determine what kind of charge I'm going to put on you. I didn't do this! What the hell is the matter with you, man? You're sitting there trying to tell me I did this. I did not do this, man. Richard had the gun the whole fucking time. Right, hold on. You want water? Huh? All right. I'm telling you what you need to convince me of, bro. And I'm, and you, you know, Woody, I've only been honest with you, bro. I've only been honest. Yeah, with you. I've been honest with you. No. Our investigation. What the fuck is going on here? Our investigation is leading us a different direction here, buddy. Okay. Why is everybody stabbing me in the fucking back? I did not do this. I swear to fucking God, I didn't do this. And I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Or I'm not I, the one who shot the I, fucking and, gun. And I'm not guessing. Okay, this is this is where our investigation has led us from. And you know, at this point, I can prove that you had the firearm. And you're, now you need to explain to me maybe why you had it in your hand at the time. Did, did this guy fucking drop it and you didn't want him anybody to get in trouble? You don't want no fucking problems and you picked it up and, and it accidentally went off or whatever the fuck? Then t tell me something. But don't tell me you didn't have the gun in your hand, brother. No, I, I did it. not have that gun in my hand whatsoever. All right. I swear to God, man. Okay, let's recap this last clip. Larry pretty much says that it was an accident that Richard fired the gun. He did not intend to shoot at a cop. The investigators are still saying they can prove that Larry had the gun in his hand. There is no hard evidence of this at all. As a matter of fact, they still have no evidence that justifies Larry being in jail. This is also where Larry says that Richard has family in the BSO, which is true, and later Richard will say that as well. By this time, the investigators already know who Richard is and who his family is. The mind games really start to begin when they start twisting words. The people in the house have been mentioned, so I will now introduce you to the others that were home when this all went down. Michael Nolan was home and outside when Richard fired the first shot. Michael then says in his statement that he went inside and took a shower and never knew anything until he heard Diane yelling at Richard. Michael says he never heard any shots. He does say that Richard told him he had a real gun. Diane uh, Hyder came home shortly after Michael. Diane says that she was in the house watching television with Larry and Jeff and Michael. She said she heard some pops and assumed it was Richard on the porch with his BB gun. She puts the blame on Richard, says after the pops, he comes in and goes to bed. Jeff Powers came home with Diane, says Richard was on the porch alone when he got home and Larry was in the living room on the couch. He never heard any shots fired. All three people in the house don't like Richard all that much. And since Larry has only been there for two weeks, they really don't know Larry at all. Fernando, being the 911 caller, never saw Larry outside, only Richard. The stories with Michael, Diane, and Jeff are pretty much right on par with what Larry has been saying. There is not one eyewitness in this house that admits to seeing Larry with the gun.